Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions and boy, do I have a special video for you today. Today we're going to be installing WordPerfect Suite 7 on the Dell Latitude XPI CD. Now, um, this is a laptop I've featured um, once or twice on the channel um, and really uh, I've kind of neglected this laptop. This is one of the, this is probably the coolest laptop I've ever owned. Um, and definitely the most rare, and yeah, I haven't really done that many videos, but I've owned it for well, about a year now. Um, so, about time to do some more stuff with this thing. Right here is the box, the, sh the um, shipping labels on the other side of it. I'll try to not show that in the video, but yeah, I'm going to unbox it here from the eBay seller. I haven't even opened it yet, and uh, we're going to put it on a period-appropriate laptop, this sweet this software suite is from 1996 or 7, I believe. I think 96, maybe even 95. Who knows? We'll, uh, we'll, just, we'll just see. All I know is that it's from the time period of this laptop. And um, this is the first time I've ever had any kind of experience with WordPerfect. Um, WordPerfect was, of course, the Office software before Microsoft Office. Um, it was huge. It was a huge deal. All right. Let's get into... Uh, Windows NT Workstation 4.0. Doing that and uh, that right there, and eventually it will will get in there. Rest in peace to Dimebag Daryl. Today would have been his 56th birthday, I believe. So uh, yeah. anyway, let's get started. All right, so we'll move the glorious laptop out of the way for a moment, and uh, we'll try to get this software unboxed here. I didn't bring my regular unboxing knife. I figured this would probably be more appropriate anyway. Though, so here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, we got good packaging here. My favorite type of packaging: the Amazon crumpled up piece of paper. So here it is. This is the CD-ROM. This is the big stack of disks. Disk 10, I see there. That looks like more than 10, though. I just see that one at the top. Duplicated in USA. Hmm. Imagine that. All right, here's the disk. Let's see what kind of condition the disk is in. Oh, this has been cut. Somebody, <laughs> somebody actually did this. They actually registered their product with that. Oh, there's my serial number. Um, don't mind that. All right. Anyway, we also have something else in here, which is oh, a user manual. Quite a user manual as well. As well. <clears throat> All right. We also have a separate book entitled Clip Art, Corel Clip Art. All right. Say that ten times fast. Um, Corel Word Perfect Suite Seven Quick Results. It's the title of this book here. I am going to read every page to you at this time. Now available updated extensive vocabularies for IBM's voice type dictation. IBM's voice type dictation comes with a standard vocabulary of more than 22,000 words, plus another 2,000 words can be added while dictating. Now IBM is offering specialty vocabularies for professions like law, medicine, and journalism. A header is text, such as a page number, chapter title, or date, it appears at the top of every page. A footer appears at the bottom of every page. To insert a header or footer, click format. Header footer, create. I changed the font at the beginning of the document, but my footers appear in the old format. To select the font that you want to use. The default chart is nice, but you might want to try some of the following formatting guidelines to make the chart more polished. Add a title, click chart, title, and a title in a box with a drop shadow. Remember so the link a chart to a word perfect document or a presentation slideshow. The link the chart is a your document of slideshows actually represents in the chart exists in notebook. Anyway, let's see what else is in here. Um send today for your free issue, Word Perfect Spree Alright, yeah. Business reply mail. Word Perfect Suite 7 Tips, um, mail that in, got that, AT&T World Net Service Website, AT&T, got a uh, partnership with AT&T I suppose, 
This is the funny one um, cartoon stuff. World leader in CD-ROM technology. There you go. Well, I think we can probably figure out how to install this software without the uh, manual. So, uh, since we're using a system that has a CD-ROM drive, we fortunately will not be having to use these discs, just as the person that owned this before me apparently also did not. They also were a very privileged um, CD-ROM system owner. So, without further ado, let's give it a shot here. Alright, so we had a little bit of a delay there. Um, this software does not support Windows NT. Developers, 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 developers. Uh, which I had installed on this computer. So I went and got a drive that has Windows 98 installed on it. And that's what we're using now. So, let's go ahead and try it again. Whoa. I'm, I'm very eager to get this installed here. If you haven't noticed. Um, but, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this installed on here. You may also notice that we now have full 16-bit color depth, which is very nice. Um, Alright, so let's see. We want to set up the whole suite. That's right. We'll go ahead and copy some temporary files. I'm not going to show the whole installation process here. I'll show the interesting bits as I usually do with uh, my Windows installation videos because I'm sure this will probably be a pretty long installation process. Let's see here. Welcome to the Corel WordPerfect Suite 7 Setup Program. Setup installs Corel WordPerfect Suite 7 on your computer. Pretty standard stuff. Got the nice background window here so that you don't get distracted during the uh, installation process. You can wander over there and click on your Gin Rummy or your uh, AOL or whatever. Um, so license. Okay, we got, so we got the license agreement. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll read every word of that to you right now. All right, personalize your copy of this product. Name, Valued Gateway Customer. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting. Okay. Hmm. So this, uh, this drive that's in here now did come out of a Gateway um, 2000 laptop. I don't remember exact model name, model number, or whatever of it, but sure. Yeah, we'll go with Value Gate. How about Value Dell customer? Look at that. Value Dell customer. That's my name. Um, and the serial number, which I will type out at this time. Installation type, so you just type installation you want from the standard installation. Um, minimum installation, custom, run from CD-ROM. If you don't want to actually install the programs. I guess actually for the purposes of this video, um, for speed, I could just do that. It would just be slower when we're running it, but just to see the program, sure, I'll do that. It'll be a little bit quicker. Um, I have plenty of space on this drive, of course, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do this right now because I do want to get to the other stuff that's on here. Yep, all that stuff. And install. There you go. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Setup complete. That took about, well, the clock is right there on the screen. You can probably just go back and check. I don't remember exactly, maybe five minutes or so. That was very quick. Um, if we had done a full installation, it probably would have taken a little bit longer than that. So, yeah, I'm glad it gives you that option. That's pretty cool. Let's see. It put something on the desktop. No, it did not. Uh, these are thumbnails from this. Um, drive. This was in an old laptop I bought. This drive, um, no personal files on it, mind you. Just, uh, just some interesting programs. But anyway, we're installing WordPerfect here. I also want to get bonus applications installed. Now I will probably just install these on here regularly. 
So let's see how that goes. Yeah, so these programs aren't very big. It's like 70 megabytes. So I'll just install them regularly. Cache or Corel Flow 3. So we've got uh, Corel Screensaver. Um, Flow 3. We've got Nash Dashboard 95, Sidekick 95, True Type Fonts, and Optional Shared Components. Alright, sure. Yeah, go ahead and install that now, I suppose. Well, once again, it just took a few minutes. Um, like I always say, you know, if you want to buy a slow computer, for some reason, buy a new computer. Because <laughs> it's old stuff. You just can't beat it. It just works. Just works. Alright, demos. Now, I definitely want to see the demos. I hope it's videos. I hope it's MPEG videos. MPEG videos, please. Okay, let's see. Um, guidelines. Change the margins in your documents. Yes, please. Always wondered how to do that. Ah, uh, it's little animated like gifs. I guess probably flash animation. Yeah. I mean, this computer doesn't have speakers anyway, so we wouldn't have heard anything. Even if there was sound, which. There might be, I have no idea. These aren't that interesting though. So we'll go ahead and try out the software, I suppose. All right, so we have it installed here. Um, I am running it off of the CD, so it's gonna be a little slow, but let's see uh, what kind of accessories do we have. Whoa, all right, we got a bunch of stuff here. Um, let's see, so we got a bunch of stuff here, help file. We got the screensaver. Well, there it is, I found it. Um, okay, so this appears to just be a, a slideshow of all of the clip art and different pictures that's included with this software suite. Um, we've seen that one three times now, I think. So, balls. Alright, that's it. Goodbye. Bad. Bad Corel Word Perfect Suite 7, whatever it's called. Let's go ahead and open up Corel Word Perfect 7. There it is. Nice little splash screen. I love these old school splash screens, which all software had to have back in these days. Oh, there it is, finally. All right. So, here's some word processing. Programs a little different from Word. I have seen this before, but I've never used it before. So it has some kind of the uh, kind of a set, similar um, style setup to um, Microsoft. Um, 
what's that called? The one that starts with a P that's not PowerPoint. Um, publisher, that's it. Publisher. Kind of reminiscent of Publisher. Let's see if we can't type here. No? Alright, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Hell. That is what I typed. I'm going to type that though. Hello. Ender. Sure, let's put the sensor Ender on there. Oh, so like a bunch of clip art is included with this suite. Um, let's see. All right. So that's something that I've always kind of wondered with um, with Microsoft Word, why you can't just drag a picture to any any spot on a document. With Word, um, you're probably familiar with this if you ever use Word. When you put a picture in there, I don't even know how to explain it. So like when you put a picture in there, you can't just put the picture anywhere. It's inserted into the line, just like you would insert a letter into the, the line. So you put, you know, the picture has to be right there, and it kind of messes everything up. And it's just way more complicated than it has to be. But it looks like this. You can just kind of drop it there, move it over a little bit if you want to. That's very nice. I already like this better than. Oh, word. All right. I'm not going to go through everything that you can do, obviously, but you see, oh, we can put a fancy border, or we can put a line border, and we've got a bunch of styles for the line border. I like that one. A little colorful. Um, yeah, apply that. Absolutely. No interruptions from you, darn it. So there's our line um, border back up to the top. There it is. Our document isn't looking all that great right now, is it? But you know. All right. So here's my document so far. I made it a little bit uh, longer and added some pictures to it and everything. So yeah, this is nice. Uh, it does support drag and drop. You can just drag and drop an image right into the document, which I did over here. Um, so. There you go. We'll go ahead and save it now to the disk. Now let's see what the types we can save it as are. Okay, so it's got a bunch of stuff you can save here. WordPerfect 4.2, Windows Write, um, stuff I've never heard of before. I can save it as an RTF. Um, there's a bunch of stuff here you can save it as. You can save it as a doc file. How about that? You can even save it as an XLS file. Uh, Kermit 7-bit transfer. I have no clue what that would be. Alright, now then, let's move on to presentation. Let's try that out. See how it differs from um, Microsoft PowerPoint. Alright, so we can create a new slideshow and create a new drawing, apparently. Or we can do a slideshow using Perfect Expert. Guess we'll just do a new slideshow. All right, let's see some of those nice templates. We have nice templates. A master from the gallery. Okay, sure. I guess that's like a template. Yeah, here they are. Oh yes, we got some nice looking ones here. Oh, and that's it. All right, not very many of them, but. All right, so here is our presentation. We can add a title. This will be my presentation on Word Perfect Suite Set, and of course. All right, so there is my presentation right there. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so let's move on to the next software. All right, so let's see what is this um, Quattro Pro program. Quattro Pro, oh, it's going to be uh, Excel. It's going to be a spreadsheet program, looks like. Alright. Yep, there it is. And it looks pretty much like Excel from Office 97. Pretty standard stuff here. I don't think we have to go too deep, too into uh, detail, too in-depth. And create a map, apparently. That's pretty interesting sounding. All right, let's see that. Oh, okay. 
Alaska by county. Very interesting, very interesting. All right, there is our map, a map of the United States with Alaska and Hawaii. Okay, it's pretty cool. Built-in um, maps. Weren't very many options, but, you know, it's interesting. Interesting little feature right there. You can do that, insert block and all that. So yeah, just the typical spreadsheet stuff that you can do, but other than that, probably not all that exciting to watch a video about. So let's move on to the next one, Corel Flow. All right, Corel Flow. Start a new Corel Flow diagram. All right, open one, open the last document. Choose a template. Yes, yeah, choose, choose a template. Why not, right? Business. That's absolutely what we want right there. Sure. Well, let's, let's see. So I guess we're going to be creating flow charts. Um, if I were to make a wild guess, guess, here. bus misc, and add this building here, I guess, stamp it on there, there you go. This is pretty much just making silly, putting silly pictures on here, huh? Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, we can put, can we put some wacky text on there? All right, um, if you can read this, um, I will be surprised. Perfect, oh, that's beautiful. And it is a beautiful flow chart. Put a couple of those on there. Um, put the scissors right there. I think they're about to cut that bag right there. Yeah, that's good. That's that's a really good program right there to use. And I guess we'll give this one a try. Envoy 7, Envoy Viewer. Um, this appears to be something that is used to open certain types of documents. So that is not interesting in the least bit. So we will go ahead and move on to the next one, the last one, which is Sidekick 95. And we can look through some of the exciting accessories all right here it is sidekick oh, okay so it's like a calendar program I like a calendar program I love a good calendar program from time to time earth time we got earth time here um, let's see um, what are we looking at here? San Francisco it's 5 p.m. in San Francisco New York is 8 PM, that's not accurate, but whatever. Um, okay, well, there you go. You got a little write, write a little note there. A little, write a little note, maybe, yeah. Write a little note. Okay, this is one of those little like productivity things. Let's see what we got here. Dashboard 95, I'm really interested in this. Oh, that's nice, I like that splash screen. Splat, uh, uh, let's not do that actually. Let's let's not do that. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. It shows your CPU usage. Um, shows your uh, how much you drive is free. How much memory you have, I guess. I don't know. Um, HP Office Jet. Um, yeah, okay. Sure, that little calendar there. Very, very tiny calendar. Very hard to see. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll leave that there. Um, let's see what other accessories we've got here. Alright, so we've got something called Show 7. I guess I'll look at that. But most of this stuff in here isn't very interesting sounding. Um, so, let's see what this is. Another player run. It's like a, like a media player. That was pretty obvious. Um, I don't know if there's any media in this on this hard drive. Well, that was Word Perfect Sweet Seven. Um, it was pretty good overall. I mean, you know, it's just seemed like it would have been very useful back in the day. Um, not all that exciting, obviously, but this little uh, Dashboard 95 program is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, if you wanted to use 
some old office software, I could recommend WordPerfect 7, at least as far as the presentations, uh, word processing, and um, spreadsheet software is concerned. Um, it's not quite as advanced as the Microsoft Office suite with all those different programs, but let's face it, most people don't use all those programs. Most people just use Word and PowerPoint, either PowerPoint or Excel occasionally. Some people use Excel a lot. But uh, anyway, this one has the three biggies in it, and uh, that's what most people need. So, seems like a pretty good software. Um, this is my first time ever trying it, so yeah, I'm happy with it. I will probably never use it again, but you know how it goes. All right, thank you for watching this video. Uh, be sure to let me know what other types of old software I could I should try in the comments below. Join the Discord server and stay safe out there.